Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Are you tired of dealing with unstable internet connections on your desktop PC? Do you find yourself constantly struggling with slow download speeds or lag during your online gaming sessions? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through the best PCIe Wi-Fi cards available on the market that can transform your desktop's wireless connectivity experience. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, a content creator who needs reliable internet for streaming, or just someone who wants faster browsing speeds, a quality PCIe Wi-Fi card can make all the difference. I've personally tested these cards in various setups and environments to bring you the most comprehensive reviews. So, without further ado, let's dive into our countdown of the top seven PCIe Wi-Fi cards. Number seven, TP-Link AC1300 Archer T6E. Starting our list is the TP-Link AC1300 Archer T6E, a budget-friendly option that offers dual-band functionality with speeds of up to 867 megabit per second on the 5 GHz band and 400 megabit per second on the 2.4 GHz band. When I first installed this card in my test system, I was impressed by how straightforward the setup process was. The package includes the card itself, two external antennas, a low-profile bracket for smaller PC cases, and installation guides. During my testing, I found that the Archer T6E performed adequately for basic internet tasks like web browsing and standard definition video streaming. The dual antennas provide decent coverage and I was able to maintain a stable connection from about 20 feet away from my router with a couple of walls in between. However, I did notice that the signal strength began to deteriorate significantly beyond that range, which might be problematic for users with larger homes. One aspect that left me wanting more was the card's performance on the 5 GHz band. While it's advertised to reach speeds of up to 867 megabit per second, I was only able to achieve around 400 to 450 megabit per sec in my real-world testing, even when positioned close to the router. This might not be an issue for users with internet plans below 500 megabit, but if you're paying for gigabit internet, you'll definitely be leaving speed on the table. The heat management of the Archer T6E also raised some concerns during extended use. After several hours of heavy data transfer, I noticed the card becoming quite warm, which could potentially affect its longevity and performance over time. The passive cooling design, while making it quieter, doesn't seem entirely adequate for intensive usage scenarios. Number 6. Ubit AX210 Wi-Fi 6E Moving up our list, we have the Ubit AX210 Wi-Fi 6E, which brings the latest Wi-Fi 6E technology to your desktop at a relatively affordable price point. This card is built around Intel's AX210 chipset, offering tri-band connectivity across 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and the new 6 GHz bands. In theory, this should provide maximum speeds of up to 574 megabits on 2.4 GHz and an impressive 2400 megabit per sec on both the 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands. When I installed the Ubit AX210 in my test system, I was initially impressed by its compact design and the inclusion of Bluetooth 5.2 functionality. The setup process was relatively straightforward, though I did encounter some driver issues that required me to download the latest Intel drivers rather than using the included ones. This might pose a challenge for less tech-savvy users who aren't comfortable troubleshooting driver problems. In terms of performance, the Ubit AX210 showed significant improvements over older Wi-Fi 5 cards when connected to a Wi-Fi 6 compatible router. I was able to achieve download speeds of around 1.2 gigabit per sec on the 5 gigahertz band, which is impressive. However, I found the 6 gigahertz band performance to be somewhat inconsistent. While it occasionally delivered excellent speeds, the connection would sometimes drop unexpectedly or fail to connect altogether, suggesting that the firmware might need further refinement. Another issue I encountered was with the included antenna setup. The antennas felt somewhat flimsy compared to other cards I've tested, and their positioning options were limited. This affected signal reception, particularly when trying to connect from areas with multiple walls or floors between the PC and the router. Number 5. TP-Link Archer TX3000E The TP-Link Archer TX3000E represents a significant step up in build quality and performance compared to our previous entries. 
This Wi-Fi 6 card supports dual band operation with theoretical speeds of up to 2402 megabit per sec on the 5 gigahertz band and 574 megabit per sec on the 2.4 gigahertz band. What immediately caught my attention when unboxing this card was its robust construction and the included magnetic antenna base. During my testing, the Archer TX3000E consistently delivered impressive performance across various scenarios. When connected to my Wi-Fi 6 router, I was able to achieve download speeds of around 1.5 gigabit per seconds on the 5 gigahertz band, which is more than enough for even the most demanding applications like 4K streaming or large file transfers. The 2.4 gigahertz performance was also solid, hovering around 400 megabits per second, which is close to the theoretical maximum for this band. One of the standout features of the TX3000E is its antenna design. The magnetized base with two multi-directional antennas allows for flexible placement away from the PC case, which can significantly improve signal reception. I found this particularly useful in setups where the desktop is positioned under a desk or in a corner, where traditional rear-mounted antennas might struggle to get optimal signal. The Bluetooth 5.0 implementation on this card also deserves praise. It provided stable connections with multiple devices simultaneously, including wireless headphones, game controllers, and keyboards, without any noticeable interference or latency issues. The range was impressive as well, maintaining solid connections even when I was in an adjacent room. 4. Gigabyte GC WBX210 The Gigabyte GC WBX210 brings Intel's AX210 chipset to the table with Gigabyte's renowned build quality and attention to detail. This Wi-Fi 6E card supports tri-band operation across 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz bands, with theoretical maximum speeds of up to 2400 Mbps on the higher frequency bands. The card also includes Bluetooth 5.2 support for connecting your wireless peripherals. When I installed the GCWBAX210 in my test system, I was immediately impressed by its solid construction and the quality of the included Aorus high-performance antenna. The PCIe X1 interface ensures compatibility with virtually any modern motherboard, and the installation process was straightforward, requiring just a single PCIe slot and a USB header connection for the Bluetooth functionality. In terms of performance, the GCWBAX210 delivered consistently excellent results across all three frequency bands. On the 6 GHz band, I was able to achieve speeds approaching 2 gigabit per second when positioned close to my Wi-Fi 6E router which is truly impressive. The 5 GHz performance was similarly strong, hovering around 1.7 gigabit per second, while the 2.4 GHz band delivered a respectable 400 to 450 megabits per second. What really sets the GCWX210 apart from some of its competitors is the stability of its connections. Throughout my testing period, which included intensive gaming sessions, 4K video streaming, and large file transfers, I didn't experience any dropped connections or unexpected performance dips. This level of reliability is crucial for users who depend on their wireless connection for work or competitive gaming. 3. Wavlink AX5400M The Wavlink AX5400M represents an excellent balance of performance, features, and value. This Wi-Fi 6E card is built around the Intel AX210 chipset, offering tri-band connectivity with combined theoretical speeds of up to 5400 megabit per second. It also includes Bluetooth 5.3 support, which is a step up from the 5.2 standard found in many competing products. When I first installed the Wavlink AX5400M, I was impressed by its thoughtful design. The card features a substantial heatsink that covers the entire PCB, ensuring effective heat dissipation even during intensive use. The installation process was straightforward, with clear instructions and all necessary mounting hardware included in the package. The card requires a PCIe X1 slot and a USB 2.0 header connection for the Bluetooth functionality. Performance-wise, the Wavlink AX5400M consistently delivered excellent results in my testing. On the 6 GHz band, I was able to achieve speeds of up to 2.2 gigabit per second when positioned close to my Wi-Fi 6E router, which is among the best results I've seen from a PCIe Wi-Fi card. The 5 gigahertz performance was similarly impressive, consistently delivering speeds above 1.5 gigabit per second, while the 2.4 gigahertz band provided around 500 megabit per sec, which is excellent for this frequency range. 
One aspect of the Wavlink AX5400M that particularly stood out was its signal reception and range. The included high-gain antennas did an excellent job of maintaining strong connections even through multiple walls and at considerable distances from the router. This makes it an ideal choice for users whose PCs are located far from their wireless access points or in environments with significant signal obstacles. Number 2. ASUS PCE AX3000 The ASUS PCE AX3000 brings the reliability and performance that ASUS is known for to the Wi-Fi card market. This Wi-Fi 6 card supports dual-band operation with theoretical speeds of up to 2402 megaparsecs on the 5 GHz band and 574 megaparsecs on the 2.4 GHz band. It also includes Bluetooth 5.0 support for connecting your wireless peripherals. When I installed the PCE AX3000 in my test system, I was immediately impressed by its premium build quality and attention to detail. The card features a substantial heatsink with the distinctive ASUS aesthetic, which not only looks great, but also provides effective cooling during intensive use. The included external antenna base connects to the card via extension cables, allowing for optimal positioning regardless of where your PC is located. In my performance testing, the PCE AX3000 consistently delivered excellent results. On the 5 GHz band, I was able to achieve speeds of around 1.8 GB per second when connected to a Wi-Fi 6 router, which is among the best I've seen from a dual band card. The 2.4 GHz performance was similarly impressive, consistently delivering speeds above 500 MB per second in optimal conditions which is excellent for this frequency range. What really sets the PCE AX3000 apart is its exceptional stability and range. Throughout my testing period, which included intensive gaming sessions, 4K video streaming, and large file transfers, the connection remained rock solid without any unexpected dropouts or performance fluctuations. The external antenna design proved particularly effective in environments with multiple walls or floors between the PC and the router. 1. TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 BE9300 Taking the top spot on our list is the cutting-edge TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 BE9300, which represents the absolute pinnacle of wireless connectivity technology available today. This tri-band Wi-Fi 7 card offers staggering theoretical speeds of up to 5760 megabits per sec on the 6 GHz band, 2880 MHz on the 5 GHz band, and 688 megabits per sec on the 2.4 GHz band, for a combined bandwidth of over 9 gigabits. It also includes the latest Bluetooth 5.4 standard for unparalleled peripheral connectivity. From the moment I unboxed the BE9300, it was clear that this is a premium product designed for enthusiasts who demand the absolute best. The card features an elegant design with a substantial heatsink and multicolor Wi-Fi status lighting that provides at-a-glance information about your connection status. The included magnetic antenna base houses two high-gain, multi-directional antennas that can be positioned for optimal signal reception. In my performance testing, the BE9300 delivered truly next-generation results that put all other Wi-Fi cards to shame. When paired with a Wi-Fi 7-compatible router, I was able to achieve download speeds approaching 5 GB per sec on the 6 GHz band, which is simply astounding for a wireless connection. The 5 GHz performance was similarly impressive, consistently delivering speeds above 2.5 GB per sec, while the 2.4 GHz band provided around 650 MB per sec, which is excellent for long-range connections. What makes the BE9300 truly special is its implementation of Wi-Fi 7's advanced features such as 320 MHz channel widths, 4K QAM modulation, and multi-link operation, MLO. These technologies combine to deliver not just higher throughput, but also significantly reduced latency and improved reliability. During my gaming tests, I recorded ping times that were nearly indistinguishable from a wired connection, which is a game changer for competitive online gaming. Final thought, so there you have it a comprehensive breakdown of the best PCIe Wi-Fi cards available today. Whether you're looking for an affordable entry-level option or a high-end card that pushes the boundaries of wireless technology, there's something on this list for everyone. Remember to consider factors like your router's capabilities, your internet plan speed, and your specific usage requirements when making your decision. Happy upgrading!